as you mentioned with that fatigue for SIU third game in five days to close out this homestand and it is Indiana State controlling the tap it is one change in the starting lineup for the Sycamores tonight this is their 13th different starting lineup on the season there will be no Cam Henry tonight a little more on that from Emily on the sidelines here in a few minutes so it is Xavier Bletson that gets the start in his place and right to him on the opening possession and a score. Nice move by the transfer from the head coach's former school, Lincoln Memorial. And he brought three players with him, and Bledson has maybe been one of the best that he never thought would be the best. And we can talk about that a little bit later as well. That's right. Josh Schertz from Lincoln Memorial, the Division II level, in his first year at Indiana State. And one of those guys that came over, not available tonight, Cam Henry. Emily's got more on the sidelines. Yeah, thanks, guys. Indiana State, bad news for them. Star guard Cam Henry will be out for the night. He rolled his ankle on Monday. Could have been good to go, but couldn't put that much weight on it. So he will not be available tonight. So other people are going to have to step up. Uh, thank you, Emily. He is on the trip, but a no-go tonight. And there's a good sign for SIU. Ben Coupette knocks his first shot down. 27-3 of the year, and that was just, I feel it, because it wasn't really in the flow of the offense, but Southern will take it. Uh, whistled down the other way. It was a rare down scoring night for Ben Coupet on Monday against Drake. Only got one shot in the air. Yeah, they, they played him very tough, and I don't know that he was he was looking for the shot as much against Drake, and he has to be a guy for Southern who, who gets 8 to 10 to 12 points of ball game as he has been getting, and it put a lot more pressure on the other guys to pick up that slack. Foul down on this end was on Stephen Verplanken. First for SIU. And Verplanken's got the defense on Cooper Nice. This will be a fun matchup tonight. Verplanken, a great perimeter defender against Nice, an elite shooter in the Missouri Valley. And here he is off a of curl with Verplanken switching out. And Wilbar knocks down the three. Good looking red shirt freshman, 6'11. The other transfer from Lincoln Memorial. Uh, Will Barr, not a ton of scoring lately, but he's been a starter since mid-December. And a turnover. Larry got warded off by Marcus Damask, and Mula scoops it up. Nice play by Marcus, forcing the action there. And Mula almost lost that ball on the rebound, but was able to recoup. And Southern trying to get even with this Sycamore team. So the Salukis, we mentioned it off the top. Back-to-back one-point losses on this three-game homestand. Trying to snap a three-game skit tonight. And Jones long, and the long rebound out to Mula. They'll recycle it, and Jones thinking about reattacking right away. And it was a, a slow night for Jones on offense on Monday as well. Just had three points. There's Coupette. Same spot, wouldn't go this time. Yeah, exact same spot. Had even a better look than he did the first time, but didn't get it to go. And Indiana State quickly on transition. And Will Barr's second chuck. That's short. So here's Jones going quick and in and out. Went high off window down to Wilbar. About the hash mark, he thought he could get to the rim and took it strong. Went high off the glass, just didn't get it to fall. Well, they didn't check Bledson out of the perimeter and didn't cost SIU. Indiana State's averaging about 70 points per game, and they're on that pace right now, but they're going to have to shoot it a little bit better to get there. Here's Marcus Damask falling away, and that is long. With some pace, but some missed shots these last couple trips down. There's Bledson splitting two. He got fouled and made it. Transition basketball. Nobody picked up the trailing guy, which was Bledson. He went right down the hole, and they got to the got to the rim, made the bucket, and has a chance for that three-point play. Here comes Bledson off to the left, just splits the defense. I think Coupette's going to get the call for the reach in, and Indiana State leads it by four and has a chance to go up by five. Well, the pass and the assist came from Julian Larry, who, of course, has point guard skills. He was the starting point guard last year for Indiana State, but added Micah Thomas. You got two point guards on the floor that SIU has to defend tonight. And yet Bledson leads the team in assists, right? 53. So, kind of three guys will all handle the basketball a lot. You know, three guys to spray it around. Giving Indiana State an early five-point jump. For subs for SIU, Kyler Filowich, Trent Brown, Dalton Banks. And there's Jones, gets to the rim, and successfully this time. He was able to turn that corner and just had the big guy in front of him and lofted it up high above him. 
before contact could be made. Well, an aggressive and a scoring Lance Jones is usually a good sign for the Salukis. Something he's not been in the first half in a lot of games this year. Oh, Larry, nice cradle to get that up to the rim, and he gets fouled. And it was the big guy, Kyle Filerwich, getting called for that foul. He didn't want to give him an easy layup, and so it's going to be Larry going to the free throw line. Took it strong, and you're right, really cupped it away from Filowich to avoid the block and draw the foul. Well, you mentioned, uh, you know, three games in five days off the top. How would legs be and how would the bodies be for SIU? That was a physical game on Monday, so that, that kind of adds to this quick stretch of games. Yeah, it was really physical. A lot of fouls called in that game. The Northern Iowa game was also a physical game, but not quite as physical as the one against Drake on Monday night. And and I don't think they'll feel it yet. They'll likely feel it after sitting down at halftime for that 10 or 15 minutes, then having to come back out and regroup and have some fresh legs. Here's Jones grinding inside. Nope. Gets his own past Larry. And then a little old leg. Got the nutmeg out to Filowitz. Here's Banks handling. This floor game's been great lately. There he is to Filowitz. Another good pass from Banks. Then Filowitz on the other end. Yeah, you, we could see it coming from here how that play was going to develop. And Filowitz filled the lane really nicely, but a great pass from Banks hitting him on the way to the basket. How about a six to one assist to turnover ratio for Banks since the new year? Really playing well and a lot more confidence with the ball. Not afraid to take shots. He would have been the one that took that three pointer at the end of the game the other night. Here's Bletson fighting in with Filowich. He stands strong. Will bar the second chance. And a whistle before a third chance. And it's going down SIU. More than he likes winning. So that kind of gives you an idea of the work that he's going to put in to get this team over the hump. We've got to look at the opponent tonight for Brian Mullins. Josh Schertz, first year. In offseason, a big movement around college basketball, including with Indiana State's program. Of course, Greg Lansing, longtime coach. Josh Schertz in from Lincoln Memorial in Tennessee at D2 taking the job backdoor cut there for Brown got a finger on it keeps the possession alive but it's late here's Jones and he knocks it down at the horn wow around the horn to the top of the key and Lance knocks down the tray didn't think Marcus was going to give that up because he had a wide open look as well no there's a backdoor cut Larry throws it away right past Wilbar. And that last trip down though is the, the subtle flick that the target was or the, the pass was off target but Brown got a, a hand on it to keep it down there. Yeah Trent is the one who kept that alive and allowed Southern to get that three and get it get a lead in the game. Trent does little things that never show up unless you really watch a basketball game. He was mad at himself critical of himself about the four turnovers he had the other night. Saved a possession there, and Filowicz short over Wilbar. Didn't have a good angle to the backboard on that one. Was in good position, but kind of lost track of where he was underneath. Now Indiana State taking it back over this four guard, one forward offense with Wilbar down in the block, mismatch, and he goes up and under, and no basket. Trent did as good as he could do at 6-3, guarding Wilbar, because got, that got crossed up on the switch. A quick sweep for DeMass. Gives it up. And Banks passes on the three. Looking for a better shot for Brown. Slides off. Will Barr retrieves it. So some unselfishness for SIU in these early possessions. Couple good looks there. Got a good one for Brown, too. And a trampled Trent Brown sees Bledson score over the top of him. Yeah, Trent thought he had position, thought he drew a charge, and the officials just waved it off. Going to be one of those... Games where not everything is called. Bledson for Indiana State, a very similar output, not quite as prolific, but very similar output to Marcus Damask. Six foot six wing. There's a three that's way too strong for Lance Jones. So a one point lead for Indiana State, and that's how you thought they were getting the ball back. Yeah, it looked like Larry just picked the ball up and put it back down again. Well, Wilbar over the top. SIU keeps having guards get 
tangled up with him. It was Brown before now Jones, and the jump ball sends it back down SIU's way. Yeah, those switches are really getting Filowich in trouble. He's out guard, guarding a guard, and and uh, the Littles guarding the big, and he gets underneath. There's Josh Schertz. Uh, talked about the, the offseason, a big movement in college coaching. 59 new jobs for 59 first-year coaches this year. Josh Schertz, one of them. Roy Williams retired, of course. Greg Marshall resigned at Wichita State. And in the Valley, it's Josh Schertz coming in here. Part of that big movement in the offseason after the pandemic here. He had he had a funny comment with us the other yesterday when he said, we've lost more this year already, I think, than I lost in the last two or three years. <laughs> he goes, I'm not used to this. And I believe that. He said he's not used to having eight losses total. No. Yeah. Four-time national coach of the year at the D2 level, Josh Schertz. There's the mask on the catch. He's got Larry on him. And a skip across for Banks. Won't go. So it's Larry coasting into the front court for Indiana State. The Sycamores have had big leads in back-to-back -back games but haven't been able to hold them. Led by 17 at UNI, 15 against Loyola. But back-to-back -back losses. Here's Bledson. Little shot fake on Devonzo and gets it underneath him. Big start for Bledson who gets the start for Henry. He's already got nine and folks, this is a guy that Josh Schertz did not want to bring with him from Lincoln Memorial to Indiana State. He told him, I don't think you'll play. He said, you can come, but you may be number 13 or 14 on the roster. His mom begged his son not to go. And Bledson said, if I don't go, I'll never forgive myself to give myself that shot. And then Cam Henry out tonight, making way for Bledson in the starting lineup. Yeah, Southern hasn't had its starting lineup or its full team together ever this year. Indiana State, same boat. They thought they would, aside from Tyree Key, have it for tonight's game, but then Henry came up lame with the ankle. Well, that's the way it was for SIU last year, too. Here's Cooper Nice, and the shot goes down from three. That's where he's so dangerous. Leads the team in the number of threes attempted, number of threes made. That's number 34 on the year for, excuse me, number number 36 for Cooper Nice. Well, Nice was all over the scout in the shoot around today for SIU. Him and Henry were the two key points. No Henry, but trying to stop Neat. Step, stop Nice now. And there's the tap back for Coupette off the miss from Damask. That's where Ben can be so good is on offensive rebounding when he can see the shot's going to miss. He can he can get up like nobody else and just was right there to tap that in. It's been a while, right? Since yeah. he's had success like that. It has. He needs to be more aggressive on those offensive boards. And Blenson walked with it. Yeah, and by success like that, that's what I was, I was saying. Is, yeah. is the offensive glass. Yep. Had a couple big games in non-conference where no, he's a great offensive rebounder. He is he's got a great leaping ability and a pretty good knack for getting to the basketball quick. And he, he has not been showing that in league games, but that was a nice one there for the dogs against Indiana State. Kalik Stevens into the game for Indiana State. Matt Jones, D'Amico, Mula, Verplanken, and Coupet out there for SIU. Mula gave SIU some good offensive energy in the late part of the first half on Monday. There's Verplanken falling away inside the paint. Also a good sign. Good offensive play. Had the advantage at the uh, free throw line. Took his man inside. Hit that fadeaway. So a couple of the guys that SIU needed to get rolling again offensively. Coupet for Plankin and Lance Jones have all hit shots early. And a travel. SIU's offense getting it back. Third turnover for the Sycamores. SIU's only turned it over once in the ballgame. So a clean opening 10 minutes. Lance Jones on this homestand had the big second half against Northern Iowa where he had 17 points. Outside of that, Wyatt scoring. Same with Verplanken. Not a lot of threes going down for him since that big one at Missouri State. Then to shoot, here's D'Amico. Powering his way in, and that's an offensive foul. So that power cost him. 
if he just didn't extend that right arm. And I don't think he had to to get the space he needed. But as we'll see here on the replay, it was a no doubter. If he stops right there, he's good. But look at the push right there. It's just an easy call for Jeff Hartnett and turnover number two for SIU. Can't really say Zach Hobbs took the charge. No, it, it, was, it was forced on him. Yeah. <laughs> D'Amico committed the foul for sure. Here's Thomas, scoring minded point guard, misses there, down to Verplanka. Here's Jones looking for his seam and off balance just short. Yeah, and, and the shot was off balance, and he just has to be in better control when he goes to the rim like that. Oh, two guys that like to dive into the lane, going out at a point guard right now, and a missed shot one way, a turnover the other way for Thomas. Yep, Micah Thomas just ran out of room on the baseline and put his left foot out as he was trying to dribble back in. Turnover number three, four for the six. And some some breath holding type ball handlers, Jones and Thomas. Here's for Plankin coming off a curl and he knocks down another one. For the 10 to 15 foot range looking nice right now for him. They're going to have to start playing that differently defensively. They're going to have to come out high on that on that pick and roll and not just let him curl and have a wide open 12 footer. SIU scored six in a row since the Cooper knees three. It's a methodical run. There's Hobbs and it rolls down to Mula. Good stretch of defense by Southern. Indiana State's helped with a couple of turnovers as well. SIU went almost 11 minutes the other night without allowing a basket against Drake. First couple of minutes of that second half, they were locked down. Here's her blanket, feeling good from the mid-range again, falling away. He's got six. He's got a little bit of a size advantage, taking advantage of it, taking the guy into the lane and hitting that little fadeaway jumper that can't be blocked. I guess the last one was mid-range. That was more that was more close range yeah. on that one. Bringing it in closer to the basket for Verplankin. And he's given SIU an 8-0 run. There's Nice, and that's where the run began, and that's where it ends for SIU. And that just shows how little space he needs to be able to get his shot off. He is so quick with that release, and just a split of a hair got him open, and he drained that three. Yeah, so despite that 8-tip run, Nice with six in a row for Indiana State to put the Sycamores back up. There's Verplanken, aggressive right now. That one won't stick. So here's Larry looking over his shoulder. Nobody behind him, and D'Amico crushes it. All going to be a part of the process, especially that loss against Loyola. Payne is also going to be part of that process. I liked the uh, alliteration from Josh Hertz. Payne is part of the process, and you mentioned it before, Mike. He's not used to having eight losses on the ledger already. No, it's it's new for a guy who's had so much success that not that you ever want to get used to losing, but you have to remember how to lose. I mean, you never want to enjoy it, but you have to know how to react to losses and those types of things, and he's learning that this year. He actually said he had more talent. It wasn't a knock at his own guys. They're just, they're just golden right now. And he brought some of his guys with him from D2, but said that they had more talent at Lincoln Memorial than they do right now. Yeah, without question. And there were several Sycamores who opted to leave. Here's Nice forces up the shot, and Jones had the defense, SIU with the stop. And with Tyree Key being out, that, that was the major thing. If they have Tyree Key, <laughs> they're a really good team, especially with what he's brought in, but Without Tyree Key, it just makes it that much that much more difficult because you don't have the main guy who's first team all conference out for the year. How did that shot not go in? I don't know. <laughs> Leaning with the arm bar there with Steven. Yep. Well, that could be a big hit. That is a big hit. That is a foul on him. That's number two. Yep. Winston Stiff on the call. It was an easy one to make. You can't arm bar the guy in the back. Silver Plankin out. Filowicz back in, Mula out as well. And there's that new bench <laughs> for Josh Schertz, three transferred from his Lincoln Memorial team. Uh, no Cam Henry tonight, who was top in the scouting report for SIU, and that's a backdoor slip in for Stevens. SIU lost him. Stevens, a 6'7 transfer out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Went to Tallahassee Community College. So SIU went on that 8-0 run. Now Indiana State has responded with a 7-0 run. 
Lukey scoreless over their last two plus minutes. The, a stretch SIU has to avoid now too. Those back-to-back -back losses. Long dry spells. Here's Banks, and they do snap the drought. And Dalton went back door, and a great find by D'Amico on the baseline. Reverse layup for two. So Banks continues to get good looks, shooting 70% from the floor since around Christmas. You can get a lot of looks when you attack the basket, whether you've got the ball or not. And he's been attacking it when he doesn't have the ball. Off of the rebound from Damask, SIU pushes. There's D'Amico, and he drains it. More shot making from Troy D'Amico to tie it up. His fifth three of the year, he's now five for 11. And coming off his best offensive game. And one of his best offensive games against Drake. And that's tapped out off SIU. But D'Amico, he's making the threes that he takes right now. Half of his threes have gone in this year. Yeah, and he takes good shots. He doesn't force the ball. He knows as a true freshman, you start forcing shots, you're going to find yourself on the bench. So he takes the shots when they're in rhythm, when they know that he's got the good look. And Bledson stepping back, and he's hot right now. And again, he had Filowicz guarding him, so if Filowicz comes out too far, then he's going to take him to the basket. Kyler didn't come out and check the three. So SIU talking during the shoot-around. Nice and Henry, Nice and Henry. It's, it's the replacement and Nice, so yeah. still the two guys they wanted to focus on with 18 to the 26. And Larry gets underneath that, but Damask saves it. Got to go here, though. Ten to shoot. Banks pushing it. And he got it in one. It's Barrett Benson from Northwestern. Yes. And that rolls off for Banks. And can't tie it up. Sycamores keep their one-point lead. Saluki's playing small now with D'Amico and Damask, the tallest guys on the floor. There's Hobbs. He can shoot it from three. It gives Indiana State some, some bench shooting. Lance Jones giving Cooper Nice nothing. Well, the mask got a hand on it, and Jones finishes it off with the steal. And he had eyes on Banks, but slows it up. Into the mask. He's got a guard, Larry, here. Can post him. Gave it up again. And D'Amico left open. <laughs> So Troy D'Amico went outside, hit a three inside from the mid-range. Little baseline jump shot to put SIU up. And then back to back, good offensive games for D'Amico, rewarded for some of his defensive work the past month or so. Third time Southern's had a lead in the game, and they get backdoored by the big guy, Xavier Bledson. What a pass. Great pass. Stevens that set it up. Bledson's got 14 already. A nice catch from Banks. Backing his way in on Hobbs and got it over the bigger player. And back to the free throw line for Banks. Yeah, that was a tough play down on the block by Dalton. He knew that he had the taller man guarding him. Had to get away from him a little bit and somehow drew contact and just didn't get the shot to go down. But has a chance to give Southern the lead again with two free throws. I remember talking to Dalton Banks before he even played his first game at SIU. Coming out of Eau Claire North High School where you know, he was a triple-double waiting to happen and to post guys up in high school. He said that that's the part of his game he hopes eventually will translate to college is being able to post up guards again. And he can post up guys maybe 6'4", six, 6'5", six, one out of two from the line again because he, he can hit that fadeaway jumper. He's strong enough to get that off and get it up and over somebody. He's more mad at himself right now for missing two out of those three free throws. There's Thomas curling into the lane. Nope. And Banks there on the rebound. And a little stop and start. Thinking about pushing tempo. Vince Jones discarding his man. That falls over. And there's one of those plays in the lane where Jones loses his feet, leading to a run out for Indiana State. And Bletson, with SIU scrambling, <laughs> rattles it down. Cannot give him space right now. 17 first half points for Bledson. Seven out of 11 from the field. A little late call in to start for Bledson, and I'd say he's pretty excited about it. <laughs> I think he's very excited about it. Uh, they, they stopped the game, swept down the lane, down on the other end after Jones fell down. But here's Bledson trailing the play. Trailing the play, nobody picked him up. 
drains that three. It's his second three in the game. So almost to his D1 career high in the first half at 21 points in December. And then a game against Oakland City. There's Banks back inside the paint. D'Amico off a little ball fake. Brown draws, Brown draws two. D'Amico short there. Thought it had a chance the way D'Amico has been shooting at this first half. So a minute and a half to go until halftime. And it's Bletson on Coupette. Already 17 points. Nice over the top and D'Amico with the foul. Yeah, Troy held Stevens as he was cutting to the basket. Really nice lob inside to him by Nice. Just if he wouldn't have been held, would have had an easy layup. Only the 16 foul though on Southern, so they'll get another shot defensively here as Lance Jones checks back into the lineup quickly for D'Amico. Again, SIU playing without Stephen Verplank in most of the final eight minutes or so of the second or first half. Went to the bench with foul trouble. And he was tasked with checking Cooper Nice. But SIU stayed in touch. Down three. Banks off the handoff. The lane clears out for him and all. They play games in the in the 50s and 60s and sometimes in the 70s. And when it's like that, it's going to be back and forth. You're not going to blow somebody out 60 to 40 very often. In five games in the Valley, SIU is minus two in their point differential. Three point win, two point win, five point loss, a pair of one point losses to get to two and three. Inside a minute to go. And Bledson, SIU ready for him after his big first half. And SIU running with Coupette, and he got stripped by Larry. Larry is a tough, tough defender. Got yeah, in there. Got his hands right when Ben was bringing it up to, to take it to the rim and got the steal. So Indiana State can still play for one, but Southern's going to have about five seconds left after this shot. And Larry has guarded guys this year like Terry Roberts at Bradley and A.J. Green at U and I. He's had some moments defensively. Five to shoot. SIU at the tap away. Here's Brown. Five to go in the half. Damask up ahead. Attack home. And Jones over the back. Slim lead. You know, Bledson was a top of a top of the mind topic for him. Yeah, absolutely. They've they've just got to slow him down. I mean, he surely he can't continue the pace he was doing. But if he does, it's it's going to be a great day for the Sycamores. Bledson does start out on offense with Mula checking him and giving him space and he's going to have to come out. Yeah, I just don't understand why they keep allowing him to shoot that 16 to 18 foot jump shot and not come out that Southern can do well around the rim with Mula checking a shooter. So down on this end, it is a different matchup. Indiana State's putting Will Barr on Mula and Damask left his feet, turned it over. He thought somebody was cutting behind him to go to the basket and <laughs> it was Cooper Nice. Will Barr <laughs> knocks down the three. Not the start SIU was looking for. Indiana State, two scores, and they forced a turnover, too. And Will Barr's second three. Both were trailing threes for the, the big 6'9 freshman. And all of a sudden, Southern finds itself down four after I, just two possessions. I thought Brian Mullins was going to go quick timeout. Let's his guys play, though. And Damask pays it off. So Damask trying to steady it after the 5-0 start for Indiana State. Three-point try coming up. Got the foul on Wilbur doing so. Just a nice drive. There's the contact. Oh, sorry, not Wilbur, but it was on Julian Larry. And a chance now to get Southern to within one. Well, it was a lot of Larry on Damask in that first half. And held him to just the two points. And there's nothing that makes Marcus Damask more frustrated than missing free throws. I know, and it's happening all too often after he made 32 straight in a stretch between non-conference games. And since that time, he's been good, but he's a great free throw shooter. He said that after the Valpo game. Had big game that night, and that's short, and the rebound for Ben Coupette, but said that with the, the radio guys for SIU that Nothing makes him more mad about his game than that. 81% like you mentioned. Got SIU to two-point margin. 
And Verplanken slides it off, but stayed down this end, foul on Wilbar. Yeah, at that, that time, J.D. Mula had good position underneath, and Wilbar just pushed him right out of the way to get that defensive rebound, and so Southern's going to get another opportunity underneath. And Wilbar and Mula still talking to each other. Now they... Jeb Hartnett says, guys, you got to take it easy here. What do you think they're saying? <laughs> Where are you going to dinner after the game? <laughs> Isn't that the usual? <laughs> Here's the mask, and he gets it blocked by Larry Quattros. And catches it as he goes out of bounds. Right, here's for Plankin off the inbound, looking back for Jones, and they do get it to Damask, but doubles have been coming at him. Quick doubles, too, to make him get rid of it quickly, and Lance Jones just pushes Connor Neese to DeCoin and gets called for that charge. Right, Cooper Neese takes the charge. Again, it's the extension of that elbow, and watch Lance right here, and there he goes. Pretty easy call. Julian Larry made it. Yes. Made the call right in front of the official. And there's Thomas lunging his way into that shot, and it rolls down. And again, Mula did not come to get him once he got around that, that corner there, around the elbow. JD was the only guy there, and he backed up to get a rebound, which never happened. So Micah Thomas for Indiana State, a return to a scoring-minded point guard, just like when Jordan Barnes was the Sycamore's guy for all those years coming here. There's Jones, little shake, and that slides off. Will bar the rebound. It's a tough shake over a 6'11 guy, 6'9, 10. That's just a really, really tough shot to make. Nice gives it up. Letson somehow alone, and SIU got away with it that time. That thing did everything but go down, didn't it? Well, for a guy with 19 points on the night, Still getting open looks. He sure finds himself open a lot. Just, just no, no recognition of him when he's out on that offensive floor. And Larry chasing around to mask. Mula finally got it to him, but Larry hanging tough, and he forces another miss. And Marcus didn't have enough legs that time. I mean, gotta give Larry a lot of credit. Did a good job on AJ Green a week ago. Doing a good job in Damask so far tonight. There's Will Barr, contested three, around and out. So Larry's given up some size in that matchup too. Damask has three inches on him. And there's a foul on the Jones drive. Keep it down to the baseline. I think Micah Thomas going to get called for that one. Third team foul on the Sycamores. Still neither team in any, any bad shape here as far as the free throws go. And Lance trying to split some things down the middle. Did he want to go back to Mula there? No, and there's the foul. And kind of surprised that it was called on who it was and not on Bledson. Little well, ball fake for Banks, and he twists it up and in. Stayed with it and got enough of a crease to get that off the glass for two and get Southern back to within two. Remember, they led by one at the half. Banks with nine, another good shooting night. Getting good looks, four for five. Tom the, the legs are the first thing to go when you've played this many minutes. And out of the break, Bletson attacks an SIU, fends him off around the rim. Southern's gone small. And right back to Banks, another one at the rim. He's got 11. In attack mode, Dalton Banks has got a, 11 points, and I think 10 of them because he only got one free throw are all layups. And had an and one mixed in there in the first half. And he ties it up at 38. Here's Nice, contested three, swirls out. Ben Coupette with the board. Trent did a nice job of getting back after he flew by him the first time. Stop and start for Coupette, going underneath. Brown, book it! Two, and would guard a guy maybe like Marcus Damask or Ben Coupette. Yeah, he's he's a valuable addition who's not playing tonight, which next man up, and Indiana State's done very well with the next man up. And rebound for D'Amico's SIU marches down, trying to build on their lead. D'Amico got a couple of good looks in that first half. 
Thought about pulling the trigger there. Here's that Damask and Larry matchup. Coupette catching fire. Ooh, around and out. <laughs> Those hurt, don't they? Ooh, that was a, <laughs> that was a two revolution spinner. <laughs> and Carey going back down SIU's way. Yeah, and he's just got just casual and flipped it over and acted like he didn't do anything wrong and almost got away with it. It's their eighth turnover. Well played game. They've only got eight Southerns, only got six. This was the game that you figured it would be when Cam Henry was involved. You figured it would be tight again. Just how it's gone again for SIU. Five games, all decided by five or less. But can they get some separation finally in a second half? We'll see. And back door for Banks and D'Amico's pass off target. Yep, just tried to force it a little bit too much. And even if Dalton catches that ball, he's way away from the basket. And by that look from Brian Mullins, it seemed like the guys knew. The guys knew. Didn't have to look over there. Yep. And Bletson backing in on D'Amico, not giving him much of any space, and that's short. So the shots have started to fall flat for Bledson as the second half has moved along. And Coupette is short on it, and Damask did get a piece of it. I wonder if that was touched a little bit because it had no spin at all. Mm, nice closeout from Hobbs. Really hard to see, but uh, yeah, very good closeout. And so Coupette's going out yep. after the miss. Jones back in. But got to give D'Amico some some credit on that defense on Bledson last time down. Yeah, he did a nice job and forced Bledson maybe a little bit out of his comfort zone. Hit that opening shot to begin the second half. Hasn't hit one since then. And still with 19, a game high for Indiana State. Xavier Bledson. Ball back in his hands. He can create two. He's leading the conference in assists and sets up Nice, who got off a wild shot. And it's volleyball down to Stevens. Second chance. And Hobbs drills it. Second chance opportunity gives Indiana State the opportunity to tie this game up. They did it with a bomb from Hobbs, his first three of the game. And we got him and Trent Brown matched up right now. Brown trying to pay him back. Can't. And then the rebound down to Stevens. So you got those two guys grinding it out. Both from Arizona, both ring number 24, both three point shooters. And it's Brown switched on to Bledson. And that will not count. That does not count. And that's down to the ground. Foul on Trent Brown. Yeah, I think Trent wanted a hook called on Bledson. And the, the official, Hartnett, is telling Brent or uh, Trent that you can't chest bump as much as he's doing as well. Well, this Watch. is similar technique to what D'Amico was just doing. Yeah, and there was the little hook that Trent thought he had. But the foul goes against Trent. And a whistle before the possession can be restarted. Out of bounds off SIU, so reset it. Each team with three team fouls. Nice trying to find space. Hobbs again. Nope, couldn't make it two in a row. Rebound for Stevens. Indiana State does not typically crash the glass hard. SIU good on the D glass. Not this trip. Bledson on D'Amico. And got it out. It's off Jones with seven to shoot. Again, Troy with a great job defensively. Let the baseline be an extra man and made sure that Bledson couldn't get any angle to try to reverse that layup. So Jones, one of the best in the conference and getting steals out in the passing lane here. There's Troy down low and Jones getting in the passing with his that right hand. Jones riding with Nice, Larry in deep. He scored an and one with two on the shot clock. Really nice find by Nice, finding Larry on that drive and just got it to go in as well. And the Sycamores are deadly at the line as well. 75.3% from the free throw line. 
And even better in Valley games. Shooting 84% as a team in Valley games. And the and one for Julian Larry swings it back the Sycamores way. <laughs> so just ahead of the under 12. Another one possession game and an offensive foul. It's Julian Larry right in the middle of it again. Yep, and Lance pushed off to get open. Oh, they gave it to Troy. But that was on Lance. So Larry, we've, we've told you about his defense a lot, plays just like that. His scoring has come around for Indiana State the last couple of weeks, too. That was the knock on him as a true freshman. Good defense, didn't score much. And he's given Indiana State some life. Here's Stevens, catch and shoot. Nope, and rebound to Miko. So oh. no further stretching the lead after the offensive foul and get Devonzo in there. Coming off his big game Monday night, right back into him. And likes this matchup on Stevens, but help from Hobbs. You've got to make your move quicker. You just can't give guys a chance to get on top of you. Hobbs springs free to the rim. The other night, and uh, 19 points before that with a double double against Evansville. SIU is going to see Bradley Saturday in Peoria, so they'll have to contend with the newcomer of the week. So, five point game. SIU had Julian Larry slip past him for an and one. And then Hobbs got free for a layup. And then more resistance on Damask, but a second try is long from Jones. And a third try on its way. <laughs> Triple team. Well, found for Plank and Damask did. Well, Indiana State, Oliver Banks with Stevens. Getting late, eight to shoot. Here's Banks pushing his way in. And the contested layup would not go. Again, did everything but go down. And Indiana State had a great defensive possession there. Yeah, they gave up two long offensive rebounds on threes, but then recovered so well and made it difficult at the end. I recovered from that triple team on Damask. So five point jump, rebounding about the same. Little edge for SIU, but down five. Five to go here in the hands of Larry. Off a jab, cuddles it. And with one to go, it's short. And a shot clock violation. So you said good defense one way, right back the other way for SIU. Yeah, Verplanken and Dalton Banks were the two keys on that one. Not giving up any ground to their guys, and Dalton at the end got that fadeaway shot to draw nothing and get the shot clock violation. And Brian Mullins has let Verplanken roll with those three fouls. They need him, so <laughs> he's got to play. Picked it up just before the uh, under 16 media timeout. That third foul for Verplanken. Damas turning the corner, powering in, and he goes to the free throw line. That was a much more aggressive drive by Marcus. I like it when he goes to the basket instead of that little fadeaway, although this fadeaway is really good. He's going to draw more contact going to the basket, go to the free throw line, give himself a shot at two. Oh for one from the line tonight. They have uh, they've been a huggy on him tonight. Yeah. Five points. Five points and he hasn't got many shots either. Just two for seven from the field. And there's that highlight 20 points plus in four straight games. And that was before the, the Drake game the other night yep. at 15. Not bad. Yeah, slumming. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, never done that in his career. Never gotten to 20 plus in three straight games, then did it in four straight games. Uh, he's he's done a lot, obviously, in two and a half years. And that's an offensive foul. Hobbs into Banks. And that's Dalton Banks seeing the floor so well, saw the play develop, and got himself established just outside that demarcation half circle. There he is. Planted charge. I remember a, a guy that broke his nose earlier in the year. It would be easy to say, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll let one go by and try to block a shot. And Banks has had a great last month or so, right before Christmas, started to turn it on. Got the ball back in his hands, pivoting. Nowhere to go with it. And down to 10 to shoot for Verplanken. Six to shoot. Here's Jones shaking on Nice. Spins his way in and lost it. 
It's Nice out of the pack, three on two. No look, fine, and Stevens there to close it out. Four point turnaround right there as Jones got into the lane with nowhere to go. Indiana State is doing a great job of not letting Lance Jones get to the rim tonight. He's either fallen down or lost the ball, it seems. Yep. Here comes the quick double team on the mask. Drawing a huge crowd. Jones gets it right back. Lance has eight, two threes, and then that one two he had was on a drive. But that was way back his first bucket of the game. Just right. hasn't been able to get there. Seemed like he was going to be a table setter for a night where he could get to the rim. Got there after that. And hasn't put him down. And the late clock now for Indiana State. It's Bledson breaking free. And the tap back wouldn't go. SIU's made it tough since that opening possession of this half. And so just ahead of the under eight, SIU can tie it or take the lead here. Damask looking, has Coupette, and Coupette just off. And nobody underneath to get the rebound. That really hurts. Lance Jones yelling at himself a little bit as he runs back. And it was Coupette that had the miss, and Coupette has the strip, but... So the, the constant question of, you know, will there be sustained scoring? We'll find out the final seven. 37 as Banks goes crashing into Larry, and that falls on Banks. Wow. Both going for the ball almost at identically the same time. And they call the foul on, on uh, Dalton. The loudest chorus of boos we've had tonight, the Terra Center, especially the side that was right up next to it. All over that call on Banks. So it stays with Indiana State and wave that off. Thomas Ooh, is on the too. sideline. And he made it. So that doesn't count. He put his foot on the sideline. And Sycamore is trying to give Winston some help over there. Right. They're saying they're up <laughs> no, sitting, this sit, line. sitting right this here. Line. Yeah, there I are saw two, it. There are two lines over there. <laughs> All right, so SIU back in this spot. Right where they were before the timeout. Chasing a basket. Damask, no space to breathe with Bletson and Larry forcing it out. For Plank and left. Open to give him the lead. Big three by Verplanken and credit the Salukis for Damask to get out of that double team because it was quick and it was a big one. Went all the way around the horn to Verplanken who nailed it from that other wing. So there's some of that ball movement that Emily was just reporting on from that SIU huddle. We got it two sides of the floor and now getting it back. Pass out of the reach of Deese. All of a sudden their 12th turnover, so they're getting into that range where they're getting towards their 16 and 17, which is what they've been averaging in the league, which is too many. And the second most in the league. And the turnovers for Josh Schertz and Indiana State. And the latest one has SIU thinking lead extender here. And Hobbs leads them with four turnovers. And Hobbs is playing with four fouls too. Got to look out for that defensively here for Indiana State. Hobbs has the closeout. Forces the give up. Here's Banks. Banging his way in. Gives it up. Two to shoot. Jones. Oh yeah! That's the loudest the Van Terrison has been in several games. It's a four-point lead, back-to-back -back turnovers. And the thundering crowd trying to get louder on a bucket here, but Coupette is fouled. And that, but Hobbs just fell out of the game. So that's a huge foul. Makes them go deeper on an already depleted bench. Only the sixth team foul, so Southern keeps possession up by four. And they bring in Micah Thomas. So that's a, a three and D player that they're losing. And Hobbs gave them that quick spurt where Indiana State extended it to a five point game. 
Uh, now he's out for the final five plus minutes. Here's Banks shaking, looking, backing his way in. And takes it himself, and wild shot for Banks, but he wrestles it back for Plank and three. Go on. So they need to look to Cooper Nice. They look to get it inside to maybe their big guy who's back in there now with Wilbon. Oh, Bletson was being checked by Verplanken, and Verplanken just got his fourth foul. Yep, seventh team foul, too, so they're in the bonus the rest of the way, and one of the best free throw shooting teams in the conference. And Verplanken's gonna sit down probably till the under four timeout, with 527 left to go here, D'Amico back in. And so Bletson had a massive first half with Verplanken dealing with foul trouble. Only played seven of the 20 minutes in the first half. Now he's out. And Bletson just two points since halftime. With for Plankin, D'Amico, and Banks checking him. A little bit of Trent Brown, too. But a much better defense on Bletson. Bletson, an 84 percenter coming into the game. And got a pair there. So he's three for three from the line. He's probably closer now up to 85, 86 percent on the season back to five point game so you got for on the bench with four fouls for SIU at 12 points Zach Hobbs is out of the game for Indiana State he's fouled out three point shooters and defense off the floor right now and that's a foul on Larry who's been tangling with the mask all night yep 6-3 against 6-6 six, six. so advantage all to the mask if he can get that base set up down down by the block and he did that time and Larry just kept pushing and pushing, and they finally had to call the foul. It's their seventh foul, so both teams in the bonus the rest of the way. And now Marcus Tomas, Southern's best free throw shooter at the line with an opportunity. Well, three games in five days, coming off the COVID pause. Let's see what SIU has at the line late in this game, and good start for Damask on the one and one. He's hit three in a row since missing that and one to begin the second half. So back in, Don Damask grinding away with Larry tonight, still finding his way to close to double figures with still five minutes to go. Yep, still need stops on the defensive end if you're SIU. Indiana State, not panic mode here, only down seven. They've shown the ability to score some points in a hurry. Indiana State in this second half has gotten cold from three, two of nine. From beyond the arc with SIU checking Nice. Ten to shoot, so Lukey's wanted to travel. Linda Bletson, Banks has him, help comes, and Stevens intercepts the pass, and way off on the three. Nope, that pass was not intended for Stevens, but for Micah Thomas, Stevens not as good a three-point shooter as Thomas. And so SIU caught a break on who caught that pass, and now try to build on the seven-point lead, and finally run away with the game in the Valley. And this is what Damask wanted. Falling away. And Kupat there, but he got rim stops. But it's out off of Stevens. Oh, man, several lives on this trip down. Nothing worse than getting your shot blocked by the rim. But a great offensive board just to keep that possession alive. And Southern still has 19 on the, on the shot clock. Need to get a good shot here. Here's Banks ducking in. No roll. Banks jabs at it. And Larry collects it. Yeah, that can be a little emotionally damaging if you get stuffed by the rim. Yes. Not that that would ever happen to me. <laughs> Phone book true. Here's, here's Larry scooping it up. We're under four. Larry leaves his feet. And the three is short, and Will Barr won't get another look at it. Not with Coupette going as strong as he did with the glass on that one. It was Ben's sixth rebound. It's good to see him going after those boards. Uh, Coupet, uh, another quieter scoring night for him, just five points. But yeah, the boards have been big for the six foot seven wing. Double on over to the opposite side. Jones got a three. Lance with 14, nine points 
tough threes here in the second half. Well, three different guys with three big threes for SIU in this half. And the lead is 10. Thomas clanks it, and Coupette with another board. And now Southern can slow it down a little bit, up 10. That's four possessions at least. Well, Hobbs on the bench, fouling out for Indiana State. No Cam Henry tonight for the Sycamores. And how much did they have left as SIU tries to put it away? And 10 to shoot. Here's Damask. Bounces it. D'Amico, six to shoot. Jones off the fake. Wants another one. And that's off. And the rebound for Indiana State. And Cooper Neese out of the pack with it. Will Barr saw a lane, but it closed fast with D'Amico. Larry gets rid of Coupette. Coupette recovers. And Will Barr behind reverses it up and in. Not sure who had Will Barr on that play, but he got lost, obviously. And nice reverse layup for the freshman. Still had the under four timeout coming. Wow. <laughs> playing through flow here the last two minutes. At some point, Indiana State's going to have to foul just to get possessions. Here's Banks turning the corner. Gives it up, Jones. Ooh, in and out. And the rebound for Larry. Still no stoppage. And D'Amico in front of the pass. And Coupette wheels it back out. Still no timeout. And Southern doesn't care now. So inside a minute 30 to go. SIU trying to snap their three game losing skid. All close games, up by eight. And this steady hands of Damask. Patient. He gets it ripped by Larry. Breeze here in the second half. Indiana State trying to keep that four game streak against the Salukis going. Big possession here. SIU looking for a close. It's Coupette. He gets it. So the lead up to 11. And a stop now would just about do it. Indiana State desperately needing points. It's Thomas stepping back. And that's short. And the rebound for Jones. And they're not going to foul. Josh Hurts said, call off the dogs. Can't make up 11 points in 43 seconds. 11 point game? What is this stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Nothing we're used to in conference play, that's for sure. Across the league, it's been tight. Northern Iowa lost in overtime at Valpo tonight. There's Damask, got it swatted away. And one last chance maybe for Indiana State. Larry up ahead. And the shot clock turned off. And Thomas bounces it in for Larry. And tough shot there. Went with the scoop. Will Barr inside, 10 to go. Here's Nice. With the mask all over him. Will bar a three. And that rolls around and down, but much too late for the Sycamores. And, ooh. SIU's got player down on the other ends. For Plankin. No, not Looks for like Plankin. Banks. It's Dalton. Yeah, Banks is down, holding his hip. Oh, man, he was back behind the play. That whole time. Yeah. Never stopped. Brian Mullins was out beyond the hash mark, waving for them to stop the game. Now he's up, walking gingerly, holding that right hip. Ouch. So SIU 